drum accessories. There's a million of them out there. The big fat snare, shing ring, the true tuner, goat hooves, cymbal tuners, the drum tortilla, stick bags, stick holders, hi-hat tambourines, fancy cymbal felt, things to hold your phone, seed pods, cymbal sizzlers, quick release wing nuts, this thing, that thing, this other thing. Is a drum pad considered an accessory? The list never ends. So here's my list of five drum accessories that I use that make my life easier. Will they make your life easier? I don't know, but you're about to find out. Number one, this thing, a bass drum anchor. If your bass drum spurs suck, like on most vintage kits, then you absolutely a thousand percent need one of these. It just clamps onto the front hoop, and if you're on carpet, you can face the pointy ends down, and if you're on not carpet, you can flip it to the rubber ends. Not gonna lie, I've never used the rubber ends because I've never had to, so I don't know how well they really work. But if your bass drum is sliding around on carpet of all places, then you definitely need one of these. Number two, a drum key drill bit. Really? You already know that everybody owns one of these, and besides, I can't even use it on half the bass drums that I own. Well, lucky for you, kind sir, this is something I learned from Rainer Drum Shop. You can use a guitar tuner peg spinner thing for T-style tension rods. I ordered this one thinking it would work, but I had to use a die grinder to cut away the plastic part since it wouldn't fit on every style tension rod. But I did buy two other ones and it was the exact same problem, so you're going to have to modify it. And bonus tip, if you do have these T-style rods, then replace the bottom tube with regular tension rods so that you don't struggle with clamping on your pedal. Which brings me to number three, a bass drum hoop protector. Okay, so you probably know about these, but everyone right now, leave a comment if you actually have one of these on your bass drum. I'll wait. Okay, time's up. Round of applause for those that have one and keep on doing what you're doing. Unless you want your bass drum hoop to look like this, or this. Number four, the PDP PDAXTA MC-R Concept Series Rack Tom Microphone Mount Slash Holder and the PDP PDAXTA MC-F Concept Series Floor Tom Microphone Mount Slash Holder. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I try to use these how they're supposed to be used and I hated them. But this little piece is totally worth the $32. Combine that with a $35 Gibraltar SC-CLAC symbol L-arm adjustable clamp, and bam, you just made an overpriced mic stand that's not even a stand. But in all seriousness, being able to eliminate just one stand, especially in the cluster zone, and clamping the bottom snare mic to the top snare mic stand makes me very happy because that's one less stand I have to deal with. And last, number five, probably not considered an accessory, but gross grain, grass grain, grow grain, ribbon. This stuff is perfect for making snare straps. You buy a roll and you're set for life, unless you have like 9,000 snares. Just cut a piece off, throw it on your wires. I like to add a little point on mine so that I look cool. And you got some classy snare straps. And actually, yes, this is an accessory because you can get different colors to accessorize your snare. And pro tip, this stuff is kind of annoying because it's just a loose roll and it wants to come undone all the time. But if you take some zip ties, put it around the center, around the edge, you now have a nice little easy dispenser. So those are five drum accessories that I cannot live without and have grown to love and hopefully you will grow to love just as much as, as I do. But let me know some of your favorites. So drop a comment, like, and subscribe, and yeah, bye.